Hi again out there in cyberspace. Uh, we're always glad when you tune us in here on the web. And uh, we're going to get after it this week. We've got some week two ball games. Uh, let's see what we have. First game, a couple of state champion programs here. St. Cecilia against Blue Hill. Now, granted, the constitution of these two teams is somewhat different. Uh, St. Cecilia got a lot of key people back from a C1 state championship team. They pretty much rolled it up on an inexperienced and still learning Carney Catholic team. Blue Hill survived Sutton. Uh, note to self. Sutton's going to be much better this year. Uh, that's not all on Blue Hill. Uh, bottom line, Blue Hill found a way to win the game. Thramer kicks a couple field goals, one that wins it. Uh, Blue Hill going to give uh, St. Cecilia a go, but in the end, we like St. Cecilia to win. Hastings and Holdridge, good for the Tigers. I realize that a you know, moral victory that probably gets old after a little bit, but the bottom line is the Tigers were lights out against Adams Central last week. They did everything they possibly could. They just came up a little bit short. They've got another chance to play a state-rated team this week. That's right, Holdridge, state-ranked. I don't know if really saw that coming. Uh, got a lot of veterans back. I mean, they throw the ball around. They've got some athletes. Uh, they're off to an even better uh, start than I would have thought. I'm a little bit concerned about Hayes' maybe a little drop-off after such an emotional game last week. With that, I'm taking Holdridge to win the ball game. Uh, Wood River and Donovan Trouble. Wood River last week, uh, you know, there's a, quite a bit expected of Wood River. You know, dropping to C2, got some real good players coming back. Jack Gangwish, all-state linebacker, I'm telling you. Jensen McTavish, one of the more elusive, uh, really good running backs in this part of the state. Um, Donovan Trumbull kind of laid an egg on opening night, but came back and found a way to beat Twin River, a team that dropped from C1 to C2. Uh, that's a good win for Donovan Trumbull, but I, I don't see them being able to beat Wood River. I'm taking Wood River to win the ball game. And Kennesaw against BDS. And for those, those of you who aren't uh, following along, BDS is the new uh, co-op between Bruning Davenport and Shickley. Uh, Bruning Davenport and Shickley, a couple of real successful football programs, a lot of state uh, playoff history. They're together now. We look for them. You know, we've got them in the top 10 in D1. That's a very good team. Kennesaw. Kennesaw's got its uh, you know, possibilities. Uh, Snitzler quarterback's a nice athlete. I think Kennesaw's maybe got a chance to make this interesting. But in the end, BDS gets the W. And then finally, Fillmore Central and York. And you just don't see this game, uh, this kind of game very often anyway. You don't see a crossover from C1 to Class B football very often, but that's what we have. York has struggled terribly in the first couple of games. They do have a couple of real nice younger players. A kid by the name of Seth Dixon is a real nice lineman for York. I don't know. I really like Fillmore Central. I like Fillmore Central to make a long run uh, in the district. I think it's going to come down to them in Milford. Getting ahead of myself. And with that, I'm taking Fillmore Central to win the ball game. And with that, we're done for this week. Get out and see a ball game, and we'll hope to see you here next week.